Zunyi in southwest China's Guizhou province once served as a revolutionary base for the Communist Party of China. It is where the Sunyi meeting, described as a watershed event in the history of the CPC, took place. In June 2015, Chinese President Xi Jinping visited the city. The CPC convened the meeting in January 1935, when the party, the Red Army, and the Chinese Revolution, in Xi's words, was saved at the most perilous moment. The Zunyi meeting was held during the Long March, a military maneuver carried out in the mid-1930s by the CPC-led Red Army. In October 1934, the Central Red Army embarked on the Long March in East China's Jiangxi province. However, it encountered setbacks and defeats due to flawed decision-making and unwise military tactics. Following a heavy loss in a battle along the Xiangjiang River in today's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region, the number of Red Army soldiers and the Central Organ staff fell sharply from 86,000 to around 30,000. On December 12, the CPC Central Committee convened an emergency meeting in Tongdao, Central China's Hunan Province, to discuss where the Red Army should go. After the meeting, the Central Red Army immediately changed its route and went westward from Hunan to Guizhou Province in southwest China. In January 1935, the Red Army soldiers overcame poor conditions and successfully crossed the Wujiang River under the help of the local villagers. They finally entered Sunyi, a transportation hub located in northern Guizhou. On January 15 to 17, an enlarged meeting of the political bureau of the CPC Central Committee took place in a room of 27 square meters with 20 attendees. The intense meeting focused on rectifying errors in military and organizational affairs. The Zunyi meeting became a crucial turning point of the Long March, which established the leadership of the new Central Committee of the Communist Party of China as represented by Mao Zedong. During an inspection trip in Guizhou, Xi Jinping said that the Zunyi meeting's distinct features, including the establishment of the correct leadership of the CPC Central Committee, as well as innovative formulation and implementation of strategies that suited the Chinese revolution's characteristics, still have significance today. Chinese Revolution's characteristics still have significance today.